Yeah. And she gangster pose? Yeah, it's right. Oh, oh God. Uh, Tony Baker. Come on, Tony Baker. Where you What'd you guys think about your heckler? All love. Since you roll in there? Used to it, uh, we get all kinds of hackers. You just gotta deal with them. Yeah. My boy Reggie called him Sweet Low. That was hysterical. I was, I was ready because he was already messing with the homie over here. So I was already prepared. I had prepared to go in on him if he said anything during my set because we got to protect each other as comics and we got to crush, we got to crush heckling because what we do is hard enough. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how dare you come from how West Hollywood? You? you know what I'm saying? When we gangstered up out here. With snow boots on. You know? <laughs> and a belly ring. You know what I'm saying? And you have the nerve, the audacity to, to, try to, to try to talk while we working. I saw something else. There's an article on gay. Gay hecklers, though. No, gay hecklers. When you sure, when you sure, oh. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna get your uncle coming here to apologize for what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. hey, but the first thing I said was, he said he burped. I said it smelled like coke. Coke, coke. coke. Uh, Now, oh, this, oh, this is video. Yeah, I was definitely in my picture pose. <laughs> <laughs> we are right now, uh, world, here at the comedy store. I'm with my boy, the very funny, the number one comedian coming out of LA, my boy, Mr. James Davis. Number one. I like that. Now, what I enjoy mostly about your set is how you deal with the hecklers. In the back. Very professional. I think we should call them the, the feckers. <laughs> the feckers in the back. Very professional. In and out. You 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 knock them out mm -hmm. and then got right back to your material. I came to do work, man. I came yeah. to work on my own stuff. So you know, if if I was less focused, I could have probably spent some more time on them. But it was like you know, I came here to do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey. Shut up in my comedic way, and then let's get back to why James is here. Boom, boom, boom. Now, James, before we get out of here, mm. let the people know where you're from and, and give give a shout out to Michelle. Okay, comedy store. first first and foremost, shout out to Michelle Comedy Store, Uncle okay. Levi. You know, my one of my comedic homes. You know, what I'm saying if, if ain't no stage gonna put James up, the belly room on Thursday will always put James up. I'm saying L.A. West Coast all day. Baraka Flocka James in this bitch. Sometimes, man, some jokes just write themselves. Mm. One of the got me though, he said, I'm gay and a Christian. I'm like, oh, oh wait a minute. You didn't even go together. I was about to kill him on that. I don't like, even go together. What color is your Bible? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's rainbow colored Bible. Let me, read, let me read you the chapter of Deuteronomy. <laughs> How did you feel about the uh, heckler this evening? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, you know, it, it's fun for a man at the back and forth, but then you got to shut the hell up and all. You got to shut your ass up. And a good way to shut them up is have them come on stage. You know what I'm saying? It ain't easy. You understand that? What did you think of his act? What did you think of his set? What set? He had no set. Nigga got up there and bombed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hide your kids. You know? He just went up there and, and tanked. No games out here. This jokes, man. Ain't no fun. It ain't nothing funny about jokes. It's our livelihood at stake. Right? This is real. <laughs> You're not doing material, dog. I'm giving material. It's called real name. Take a second. Oh, wait. Where's my Take light? I don't see no light blinking. <laughs> oh, there it goes. That was, oh. That's why I got to. 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 Did you get heckled? 
For a second, he actually ruined my punchline, but that's okay, it's fine. There was a joke about um, my mother-in-law asking me about if my son was gonna be white or Asian, because she's a little racist lady. And I'll say, I said, if you keep messing with me, he's gonna turn out black. And the heckler yelled out, Tiger Woods Jr., that was my joke. Uh, it was awkward. It was awkward. But they liked, they liked me. It was kind of weird energy after the crazy gay guy. <laughs> you roll with the punches, you know? When you roll with the... When you roll with the... <laughs> Tight ass. <laughs> I like the book of Revelon. <laughs> Revelation. Do the wrong to me. Do the wrong to me. I said it's the same argument you and your dad. Hell yeah, you know. <laughs> the self, I mean, they were arguing. It was two gay dudes arguing yes. amongst themselves. Heckling Chris. Oh, maybe you are easier to say this. Oh my God. The theme tonight is gay hecklers. Oh my God. Hey, yeah. So you guys found some good ones. <laughs> oh, he said, I keep texting. We're like, he's not coming. <laughs> is, oh, is, man. How many dudes have you texted? <laughs> right? Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you because you're too loud. You know something's wrong with a dude won't fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>